Um, here's one that came in from, let's pull it up over here. So this came in from, uh, from Tara from San Diego. <laughs> Uh, and and uh, and Tara asks, how hard is it to find a home with at least a quarter acre that backs into the jungle and up into the jungle and has a pool? What do you think about mono wheelie? So here's the here's what I wanted to kind of to touch on is these 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 jungle homes. So so Tara so so Tara is Scott's going to confirm? Sure, uh, it's 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 there somewhere. You can find it. You can find a, a home. Uh, not so much against a jungle because jungles don't really have like a, a, a well-defined property line, right? I mean, jungle is a jungle is almost like a way of life, right? You're in, you're kind of living in a, in a jungle area. So that's not a problem with a pool, Mono Willy, great area, amazing waterfalls, an incredible part of, of the windward side. Here's the topic I wanted to kind of to, to, uh, get some feedback from, uh, Heidi and from Scott is, uh, and from the, and from, from you, the Ohana, what's. What's a consideration that you need to have if you're if you're coming from the mainland? You got this fantasy, right? We all we all got this. You know, we all have the we all have the the Hawaii fantasy. I want to live in the jungle. You know, I want to have you know I want to have you know rainforest and birds and in this pool that I could kind of make into a waterfall and kind of live in this sort of jungle life. It's it's amazing, right? What's the what are some things that you may not have thought of that may you might not want to do why why wouldn't you want a jungle house with a pool uh this is a question for let's take the oahu side first we'll go scott first and then we'll go to to heidi why wouldn't you scott what would you tell tara about you sure you want you sure you want a jungle house what would you say to scott yeah i mean to answer your question yes you can definitely get them fourth acre is not that big uh you know, you can, Mono Willie is an example of it, but effectively, the closer you get to the mountains, the closer you get to the Ko'olau's on either side of the, the ridge, the more jungly it's going to get. And what comes with that is rain and precipitation. And, you know, the clouds come in off that windward side, and as they go to go over the mountain, they're going to release that water. So uh, it will be wetter. You'll, you, you will get mosquitoes probably. And that you got to be careful with that pool of yours, unless it's covered, it may end up being a pond. You may not use it very often because it's just going to be too much rain. Um, so if you don't like Seattle type of weather, you probably want to get a little further away from the mountain itself. But I, I actually showed a property, I want to say it was two years ago. Beautiful. It was a perfect day, but it was tucked up literally to the Ko'olau's. And uh, we saw it on that day when it was perfectly clear clients fell in love with it it had a pool as well we went back another day when it was cloudy and rainy and it was a completely different feel because it was not the same vibe you didn't have that that warm weather you you realized you were not going to use the yard and the pool it had a nice lush feeling but it was just too wet you were going to be indoors all the time and and mold and mildew come with that mold and mild <clears throat> mold and, and mildew uh it's it's yeah it's 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 the fantasy the, you know the fantasy is one thing uh the reality is another and the ohana sure is kicking in with some right answers uh stephanie cockroaches centipede spider you got bugs more bugs than you normally get scott mentioned mosquitoes certainly with the moisture a lot more mosquitoes uh than you would get if you live in town huge centipedes yeah uh, the, and we've had some centipede stories and one of my other things a lot of crawlies in the jungle. We stayed at a great place in South Kona on the big one that felt very jungly. Yep, those jungle, jungle homes, man. And you know, termites and the home's gonna get eaten away. You're fighting against uh, you're fighting against Mother Nature. Uh Auntie Joy's jungle life, not for me. Don't want to live with B52 fly coaches. <laughs> Cokies, Cokies are the frogs. Uh, thank God right now they're still primarily on the big island. They're, they're making some inroads here, but not quite. Mongooses, mosquitoes, and constant rain and mold, mold. No, yeah, no, no pool, but you get the idea though, right, Heather? Um, and bugs will use your pool more than you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those ponds, like, like, like Scott said, um, it's a lot more maintenance than you think. Heidi, what would you, what, what, what's your advice if somebody wants to live in the, in the jungles of Maui? Like if, like Hana is a, is a great example, right? Hana is like gorgeous, otherworldly, the most beautiful place on earth, but it's on the windward side of Maui. It's on the wet side. What would you, what kind of advice would you tell people to kind of think through Heidi? Well, there are definitely some jungle properties on Maui. And actually one of our friends lives out in a haiku at this really cool property next to a stream. And um, he grows a lot of his own food. Um, well, there was a big rainstorm and the stream became a rushing river and it was going pretty much right under his house. And he sent us videos of it. It was absolutely terrifying. Um, 
the other downside is the mold. I mean, this guy is a musician. He has all these drums. Um, he's been out there for years. Pretty much everything is is molding. And, and you can tell, I mean, just driving around out in Hana or some of the wetter areas of Haiku, you'll see an abandoned car and it's totally overtaken by mold. I mean, it's just, I didn't even know this could happen, but um, yeah, it's, it's a different world out there. But the good news is there's no uh, lions or tigers or bears or snakes. So Heidi, you're supposed to say lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, that's the, <laughs> that's the line you're supposed to use. Lions and tigers, oh my, yeah. Yeah, there, there's no big scary predators. It's just you know, little mongoose and, and I guess bugs, but yeah, no snakes, no tigers, no bears. Um, so it's, it's pretty safe. No, uh, no rabid animals. There's no rabies. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting bit by something that's kind of a, a lethally, uh, lethal poison. I mean, there may be some, there's some poison in some centipede, but that's, it's going to hurt, uh, but it's not going to kill you at least presumably. Um, so yeah, so, uh, and, and Auntie Joyce says, any best place to live in jungle life is Costa Rica. Yeah, I, I would, I would guess, I would guess so. I've never been, but yeah, that would, that would think. And uh, curtains of spiders and webs too. You know, what's interesting you guys is this, this thing about the mold. Uh, Jessica brought this up about the mold on the shower after three or four months. You know, it's, I guess it's, it's been so like ingrained. I've never even given that a second. I was like, yeah, doesn't everybody get mold on their, on their curtains after a few months that you have to kind of wash out? Yes. Yeah. Right. I, I guess not <laughs> on the mainland. Uh, it's something that's, it's like a, it's a built-in thing. I didn't think of that as an, as an abnormal thing. You know, there's one other final thing about this, this, this jungle life. It's not so much jungle, but it's, it's, uh, Scott, it's to your point is, you know, in Hawaii, if you're going to be in the jungle area, it is practically by definition that you're kind of near the mountains because that's kind of where the rain comes. So it kind of comes with the territory. There is another element uh, of living in uh, near mountains, which is rock slides, right? The volcanic, uh, the volcanic mountains, unlike, uh, unlike other mountain ranges on the mainland, which are granite or what, what have you, Hawaii is all, it's 100% volcanic and volcanic stuff, uh, it crumbles. It crumbles over time. Uh, that's why there's not serious rock climbing, serious rock climbing in Hawaii because you can't like, chisel your way in because it's gonna, you know, if you if you use one of those pipe things or you kind of you know use a, a I forget what those things are called, the big nails you kind of throw in the rock, to kind of they'll they'll crumble the lava, and so rock climbing is very dangerous in, in Hawaii because of the lava rock. So the lava rock is always crumbling, and there's always rock slides happening. Um, and with with the rains, there's rock slides and. You don't want to. You don't want to have a home that's catching rock slides. Um, you know, there's been there are stories, and you hear them kind of all the time. Really, every time there's a big rain, right, Heidi and Scott. Every time there's a big rain, it's always stories, and you know, road road gets closed, rock slide. You know, home gets battered, rock slide. Um, so that's another part of living in in that mountain. Not 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 quite. Um, 